Hola, hombres. Me nombre Corey. Me nombre Ron. I think that means number. While our Spanish might not be good, we're hoping this beer will be. Guys, we have a sneak peek. You could search the internet. Yeah. There are so few reviews. Yeah. We might be the only ones. Yeah, that's you know that's the perk of having a girlfriend who's in the bar business. She got a little sneak peek of this, and she said, "Hey, review this for me." We have <clears throat> Oculto uh, Blue Agave Infused Lager. Aye, aye. Glub 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 glub. You know, this might be the first AB InBev beer that we've actually done a video review of. I yeah. mean, unless you count Goose Island stuff, which I don't. But I think it's an interesting take, and I think it's a cool, different type of beer. Targeted at probably the craft beer drinker with the, you know, we always have barrel-aged beers. Why not tequila-aged beers? They're, they're marketing geniuses. Oh, yeah. If you look at the bottle when it's cold, the eyes of the skull turn green, which is kind of sweet, actually. Yeah. But the beer has to speak for itself. Let's take a sniff. Sneak preview. God, you know what that reminds <laughs> me of? It's like super sweet, and it reminds me of blue raspberry like slushies, <laughs> like reminds me really of... berry flavored something. Yeah, it could be a couple things. It could be a <laughs> Smirnoff ice twister. It could be a bag of soggy tortilla <laughs> chips. I'm not. I'm not sure. It's it's like really salty, and yeah, like, and, and limey. Maybe that's what a tequila infused beer smells like. We've never had tequila. That's infused true. Beer. We have not had a tequila barrel aged beer before, so, so I, this is a first for the Brewview yeah. crew. And, and uh, you know, you do get some of the tequila notes. It reminds you of a little bit of like a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, or like a day after like a frat party. <laughs> I think it's just weird enough that it might actually not be terrible. Yeah, who knows? So I think we should just give it a try and uh, dive right in. Cheers. Cheers. The old college try. Oh, Calto. Oh, Calto. Oh. Oh, Calto. Oh. <laughs> Dios mio. Por Dios que. mio. Por que, que Calto. <laughs> just... Oh, you know, it actually started off kind of promising. It was like sweet and sprite like, but then it just went straight into like this salty, soggy tortilla, corn. Like, that aftertaste is really bad. What? This tastes like carbonated cleaner. <clears throat> and cardboard. It, it's like some kind of cleaning product or days old Sprite, seven up, that is like seven down. <laughs> you know, when I first saw the bottle, I was like, that's a pretty badass bottle. And it is. And then I and said, and then I said, I don't even know who makes this. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, AV InBev, okay. And then I said, let's give it a shot. And now I'm just, I don't, I've had two sips and I'm not really looking forward to going into another one. I'm not being over dramatic. That's disgusting. Yeah. There's nothing good about this. There is no redeeming quality. There is nothing about this beer that is good at all. It's the worst beer I've ever had. Hands down, bar none. I would soak in Coors Light Summer Brew before I had this again. <laughs> I, I hate this. I want to try and have a silver lining because that's me. And if it is a silver lining, it's the first three milliseconds of the taste. <laughs> It's sweet and sprite-like, and then all of a sudden it's just like before, oh, before your nervous system alerts you, there's something horribly wrong in your body. And, and I don't even think I have to say this. I think this gets the first ever preview crew double, double zero. zero! <laughs> I don't, we are, we don't like to come here and just trash beers. We've never done it. We've never, never done it. No, even even summer brew. I think you had some type of redeeming quality. I said that there are people out there who enjoy it. I don't know who's gonna enjoy this. Really, this is so terrible. I don't know anybody out there, craft beer liker or just macro lager right. out there that, that would enjoy this. This is terrible. Yeah. We appreciate a Natty Light, even a Natty Ice. Hey. Love a Natty Ice. Some rock band. Give me a Natty ever. Ice. I'll drink one all day. This is terrible. I don't think you could water this down with enough Natty Ices. Guys, thank you for suffering through this episode <laughs> with us. This was awful yeah. you know what if you made your way through all this video we have a contest for you please share this video out to the masses warn them before it gets too far <laughs> and if you do you'll be entered into a random lottery to get a brand new promo code for the premium version of a brand new app called picky pint which helps you pick a craft beer at a bar or restaurant yeah. share the video out get that promo code but do not ever get this beer so whether good or bad beers you got to keep coming back because you have to always remember we're the brewview crew we'll review 
<laughs> Terrible brews for you. <laughs> oh, cheers. Cheers. I'm not drinking it. How <laughs> much tequila was sacrificed? I'm pretty sure they used the well tequila. It's <laughs> like Ugh. John Julio. <laughs> this should be some kind of challenge. It's not good. I feel like I should donate to a charity. <laughs> if you send us a video of you chugging an entire <laughs> one of these, you'll get a promo code. <laughs> You can't do it. <laughs> Why would you? Watch us be like the biggest hit of their life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brand new craft beer phenomenon. Oh, to you know, have beer release festivals. You have to get tickets for the Occulto <laughs> release. Oh, so gross. <laughs>